Hey, what's up? Coach Kyle here from 925 Training Center and Training for Warriors East Bay. I was just leaving our dojo, our facility, our gym, and I was just so inspired about the message that we delivered to our students yesterday that I thought I could deliver it to you. And hopefully that it could resonate with you and any aspirations, goals, or visions that you might have, whether it's making money, whether it's um, health and fitness, or any type of relationships, or just literally living that good life, just being happy in your own skin and living that good life, whatever your definition of that is. And so before every practice or every workout or every training session that we do, uh, we deliver a message of the day, and it's literally to get your mind sharp. It's ready to get your mindset ready for the task that you're about to that you're about to execute. And it's so important because you can't be thinking about what happened at work or the traffic that you're in or the the, the your kid's schedule or the food that you're about to eat or you have to make for dinner. You got to be thinking about the workout. That way, you can have a great workout and get the results that you desire. So this particular story is about a man named Anthony Burgess. Anthony Burgess was a 40-year-old man and he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. The doctor told him he has one year to live. And Anthony Burgess and his wife were super poor and he knew he had no money to leave behind for his wife. Now, Anthony Burgess was never a novelist or a writer, but he always knew he had the potential. It's something that he always knew he could do. So, for the sole fact of leaving royalties behind for his wife, he threw a piece of paper in the typewriter and started typing away. He had no clue what was going to happen after writing, and he didn't know if his, his book was going to get published at all. So it was the winter, 1960. He knew he had winter, spring, and summer to live, and that he would die in the fall of leaf. Now within that time frame, he wrote five and a half novels. He's most famously known for A Clockwork Orange. And um, that five and a half novels is double the amount that famous author J.D. Salinger wrote um, in his lifetime. And he's famously known for The Catcher in the Rye, if you had not known. So um, the amazing thing happened to Anthony Burgess. He goes back to the doctor and his cancer goes into remission and then eventually disappears. This man eventually goes on to write 70 other books and he lives this great and healthy full life. Now the question is, why did it take some type of emergency for him to bring that greatness out inside of him? And the question is for you, what's it going to take for you to bring that greatness out inside of you? Because everyone has it. Don't let it be an emergency. Go ahead and do that now. Ask yourself. What would I do if I only had one year to left? How, how much greatness would I bring out in myself? You know, and, and literally, if you have that answer, that's great. Now ask yourself, it's the end of, it's the end of December. Or it's, sorry, it's the, it's the beginning of December. You have the end of 2015. What are you going to do to change your life in the next 25 days of 2015? What type of greatness can you bring out in yourself? Don't let an emergency, don't let some type of sickness have to spark that exercise it right now each and every day each and all of us have something great let's go ahead and bring that out so i hope that uh really resonated with you and um you know go ahead and start today whatever you're doing today whatever your thought pattern is go ahead and bring that greatness out don't start tomorrow don't start january 1st you want to bring out that greatness and build momentum right now because as soon as january 1st hits you're gonna have to start over momentum can start now so i hope that was helpful Leave me a comment if you have any, any other inspiration or motivation that you would like to share with me. And uh, have a great rest of your 2015 and uh, we'll talk soon.